Yeah. They're huggers. These are young, attractive, talented guys. They can hug anybody they want. It's not creepy. There are other people that I don't necessarily want to hug from first thing in the morning. They can hug anyone they want. And it's just, I know that's rude, but that's also Every morning I'm always asking JD for a hug. Aww. I don't think you're on the no hug list. She's nice and she's cute and she's a good boss. It's better show. It's better than yours. Because it's a better show. It's a better show. Show, not the better show, because we're on the better show. Because it's a better show. We have had a really good time so far. It's been awesome. We just got to New York, and this is our first time on the better show. Hopefully, not the last. And um, Holland's coming up. What was your favorite costume? Uh, growing up, my favorite costume, of course, was uh, my Power Ranger, you know, collectibles. <laughs> I was a big action guy, you know, action figure dude, so when I was a Power Ranger, I felt, you know, the part. I was a pumpkin when I was a baby, and it was pretty cool. Was yeah, yeah, it was great. awesome. Yeah, Come on, everyone loves a little yeah. kid pumpkin. Uh, I was, last year I was Eddie Munster, which I really liked. I like did like the little widow's peak and everything and had my Wolfman doll. I, 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 I just like spooky stuff and I like the monster, so that was a fun costume. Uh, yeah, my favorite costume would be like last year I I bought uh, probably like a five-year-old costume. It was Tigger and I had to cut the pants and the top and the like the head part of it. So it was like three pieces and it didn't really top. fit me. It was the top <laughs> went to like right here and there was nothing until like right here and it was just the bottom half and I had like this little Tigger head. It was pretty amazing. So for some Twitter questions, <laughs> um, if you guys could collab with anybody, who would we could collab with anybody, I think. Look, ready? Ready, guys? One, yeah. two, three. Katy, Katy Perry. Perry! See? Yeah? On it. Beautiful, beautiful. Putting it out there. Like, what are your plans after you're done touring the MTV artists to watch? Um, I think we're still working on pushing Take Me Home. Like that, we believe in that song so much, so we're working on getting that out there. So if you guys could help us out and request on your local radio stations, that would be awesome. And we might be in a city near you this December doing a bunch of shows, Christmas shows. Some jingle balls. From Music is Life, uh, what is your favorite dessert? Ooh, my favorite dessert would have to be flan. Flan. Flan's good. Flan. Not. Flan. I feel like we've been into bread pudding lately. Like, yes, all of us. Say. I bread had bread pudding, pudding last night. It, it, it's been, it's, pudding. it's like, it's an Eric thing, bread pudding, I think, but like I've started to really get into bread pudding and I feel like the last few restaurants we've been to, we've all been like, let's get some bread, bread pudding. pudding. I haven't really liked bread pudding up until recently. I feel like Colton has had bread pudding way before I have. So he, I wish, I wish he's the no originator. Reason, what is your favorite Midnight Red song that you've recorded so far? Our favorite Midnight Red song is definitely Take Me Home. I mean, the minute we heard it, we knew that that song was gonna be a big portion of the reason, uh, you know, like, it's gonna kick off our career essentially, so Take Me Home is just like number one in our book for sure. We hold it in our hearts. And what was the hardest answer you've learned? Hell yeah. In uh, breakdown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a really uh, cool breakdown in our, our, our song Hell Yeah, and um, it took a while for us to get that, but once we two got days. it, like, two whole days. <laughs> two whole days, guys. If you could speak any language, which would it be and why? What's the Lebanon? Is Lebanese? Lebanese. 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 Because I, where I, I had a job with kids, and there was a kid from Lebanon there, and he started going off, and I was just like, it sounded like word noise. And I was like, that's a language? He was like, yeah, that's a language. And I was like, okay, man, I would love to learn that one day. He was like, I could teach you. I was like, you probably can. <laughs> I would love to speak French, the language of love. Oh. If, if uh, I could pick any language, I'd probably pick like, I think I'd do French too. Yeah. French would be a cool one. Or, oh man, I wish I could speak Spanish. Ay, que paso, puedo hablar español ahora. Wow, what happened? Whoa. Oh it's like God. there's a genie. Magic. Magic, oh my goodness. Damn. Kazam. Dios mio. Ay, Dios mio. What country would you love to visit and why? That you haven't visited yet. I would love to visit Spain. Uh, Madrid, I'd really, really like to see Madrid, or Italy would also be a really nice one to go to, so it's my top two right now. I would say I'm gonna, you know, like, back him up on Spain, because we just did, like, this cool interview over the phone the other day with, like, their huge radio station over in, in Spain, and um, apparently we have, like, a big following in Spain, so I'm excited, like, to, you know, cross the pond or, you know, the ocean and, and go see all, like, Spanish redheads and go do shows over there and explore the city and eat lots of good food. Redheads is what we call our fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Places like Brazil and Argentina, yeah. you know, we have a lot of fans over there, too, so it's like, um, love to visit them. 
show them a good time? Um, I just to be different. Um, I would say uh, Singapore. I, I, it's like a really really tiny country, and you're not even allowed to like chew gum. It's so clean and strict there, and I think it'd be just. I hear it's a happening place.